what's going on guys welcome back welcome back to the channel for all you guys that have been waiting i know it's been a while since i said i was going to watch this it's probably been a year i'm not even gonna lie it's probably been a year that i said i was going to start this series and i never did <laughs> and that's because i was holding off to kind of get things into order and i also did not want to overload myself too much with reactions on what i was doing so i was playing the waiting game and then when i really wanted to start it i was like um you know somebody suggested that i should put um early access or not necessarily early access yeah early access um to my anime episodes on patreon that would get more people to sign up for patreon and i was kind of iffy about it and then i decided to do it but then the p the pandemic hit you know um with this quarantine and everything and i decided against it again <laughs> to do it on patreon so i'm keeping my patreon the way it is right now if you want to go check out the patreon um, just know that it's I'm doing two mangas over there right now manga read-throughs, which is Hajime no Ippo the continuation I've done the anime on the channel um, and also the um, And also I'm doing berserk so which I'm enjoying very much. We're up to I think um, We're up to volume 14 right now. I'm about to do 15 in a couple of days so um, if you want to go over there and support, there is a space where you can where, where you can just support without having access to any of the, the read-throughs or anything. If you just want to support the channel and want to go ahead and do that, that's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. But anyways, let's talk about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I've been longing to get to this because I don't know what the hell this thing is about. It's a very popular series. I've heard of it before. It's not like I've never heard of it. Um, alchemy is something that is very taboo. <laughs> it is very taboo. So I'm guessing, um, this has something to do with alchemy. I mean, it says alchemist, but we'll see. I don't know what is, you know, full metal alchemist. I don't know what that has to do with the story itself, but we get to see that. Of course, so we're going to jump into these episodes for all you dub lovers out there everybody said a sub is trash um i'm a sub lover i'm a dub lover doesn't matter which one i prefer sub i prefer to watch my anime in the original form first and then i will watch the dub after you know um but for this series i am watching the dub because they said the dub is the better version now if you guys are um watching from some part of the country where you don't really understand english i am going to have you can read the english you can't really understand it comprehend it um i will understand if you're if you don't watch this with me i really do i will understand that this is probably the only series that i'm going to do f dub on the channel and that's just because when it was suggested, everybody's like, you have to do the dub for Full Metal Alchemist. Now, a lot of, I, I know there's a controversy around, <laughs> I know there's a controversy ar around freaking, um, you know, the Yu Yu Hakusho and all this other stuff, and, I'm, I, and I make fun. And this is just all fun and games, guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling, guys, because the thing about it is when people are sub purists or dub purists i don't get why they are so much you get what i'm saying it's all about preference it's all about preference it's not about it's really not about what's better it's 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 about preference you get what i'm saying when it comes on to what what you choose to watch something in you get what i'm saying there's plenty of tv shows out there that sound the the voice actors that does the Japanese version sound way better than the English actors, but they didn't do it. But I watch it in English. You get what I'm saying? Because that's the original version of the show. You know what I mean? Um, 
you know, my a lot of my video games, you know what I'm saying, that, that were made in Japan, I watch them, you know, I watch them. In, I, no, I'm talking about watch them. I play them, and I use a Japanese voice if it's available. Because normally, a lot of times, the Japanese voice is way better than the English voice. I don't know what, I don't know what is it about the Japanese language. I just love it. I just love it. I just love hearing it. It just flows off the tongue. I don't know. I just love hearing it. Hopefully, I can learn to speak like that someday. Learn that language. Anyways, let's jump into this episode. We're doing two episodes to kick it off. As I said, there will be English subtitles, but I'm watching in English. So don't pay attention. I'm not going to be paying attention to the subtitles. That's just for those who can't really understand. You can't understand it by hearing it, but you can read it to understand because you have people that are like that that are out there. But anyways, let's do this and let's watch this. Okay, I'll see you guys over there. All right, so that was two episodes of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, man. FMA, bye. Yes, that was pretty dope. I like it. I'm especially interested in the Fuhrer King Bradley. That guy is not a joke, and hopefully, I'm just hoping to get one fight out of him. That's all I want. I just want to get one good fight out of him. It kind of reminds me of... Um, Bleach, and I think his name is Matsumoto, if, what's his name again? <laughs> what is the captain of the number one squad again? You guys can tell me, I don't remember, it's been a while since I watched Bleach, um, but you guys know who I'm talking about, the captain of the first squad, the one that's over all the Gotate 13, okay? You guys know who I'm talking about, um, can't remember his name, or the name of his Zanpakuto right now, but, um, one of my favorite characters in the show. Um, he's revered over all of these captains, right? He's lived so long, old dude, long ass beard, have considered to have the strongest Zanpakuto in the history of the Soul Society, right? And just hearing people talk about him, you just want to see him fight. It is kind of like just the little feats that we're seeing from this King Bradley. Twice now I see him do something that's just beyond <laughs> with that sword. He's not a joke. What is he called? What is his nickname? I don't know what his nickname is. What kind of alchemist is he? Is he even an alchemist? Is he just a regular dude? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that doesn't use alchemy? We'll never know. Maybe he's just super fast with a sword. Who knows? But he's a problem, bro. But in any case, man, I just want to take this this time out to talk about these two episodes in general of finding out more about Edward and um, Alphonse, right? And about they try, them trying to bring back their mom. They basically, you know, thought they had the, 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 the ingredients for the equivalent exchange to bring their mom back and they ended up losing Alphonse's body, I guess the soul didn't disappear, um, you know, too fast, so he was able to bond his brother's soul to the metal armor, so the concept behind this is that, you know, I like what, the, I think it was in the introductory when the guy said, it would, is there an equivalent exchange for a human being, and in my opinion, no, you get what I'm saying? There's not enough power that you can have because basically what I was thinking when he entered into that kind of dream state or alternate reality or whatever, and the guy was kind of showing him something, I think he was trying to maybe explain to him, even if there is a way to bring back humans, like, you know, you can have all the knowledge in the world, but also he was trying to show him that um, the sacrifice is too great and I think that's what I think that's what it is like for you to have equivalent exchange for a human beings life. A life has to be has to go to you get what I'm saying. It's a life for a life. It's not going to be, oh, you know, my, my mom is going to come back and nothing going to happen to me. It's basically 
even when you sacrifice a, a little bit of your body is still not enough because what is that based on is it is it based on just the physical body or is it or is it based on soul for soul what is it based on you get what i'm saying so the concept in general i like it very much i like the concept that they're going for i, I think i'm going to learn i think i'm going to learn a lot during this journey um you know uh, or just coming to you know having different perceptions of um, of life itself, you know what I'm saying? And to also have a different, also to, to, to learn a lot as in life lessons on, you know, what exactly is equivalent to human life and why do some people just take it so easily? You know what I'm saying? Like they just, without hesitation, they will just take lives, you know? And also the, in, the, the concept behind the military, are they good? Are they bad? You know what I'm saying? In the first episode, it kind of, seems like you know the dude had a legitimate reason for going against the military we don't know exactly what their gripe is against them but those two characters that we saw at the end of episode one one of them was got never remember what the lady's name was that was talking on the phone but i guess we'll learn more about them later they're heading to the city where they are i think right so they took that time during that journey to kind of show us what really happened you know, and how they ended up with the military, and that was pretty cool, um, so we'll see, so I thank you guys very much for tuning in for this episode, for these two episodes, man, whether you're watching on YouTube, whether you're watching over on the bit shoot, where you're watching on Google Drive, we will see, we will see, we will see, um, but I do thank you guys for Whatever support that you're supporting this, man, I really do appreciate it. We'll see how these how these episodes do. Hopefully, we could we could draw in some more subscribers. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. There's tons of stuff, tons of animes. Um, if you're new to the channel to watch, you know, while you're waiting on more episodes of this anime or other, there's tons of other anime that I'm pretty sure that you would be interested in. So don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to leave a comment on this video and also subscribe. If you're new, let me remind you one more time, hit that notification bell. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and peace.